So the purpose of this video is to give employers and main contractors three warning signs that an adjudication might be imminent and three things that you might do in reaction to that. The first sign that an adjudication might be imminent is an increase in the formality in the payment claim notices. So you might notice, for example, an increase in substantiation or a change in the format. And that's all getting ready for an adjudication. The second sign that you might notice um, is a reference to the Construction Contracts Act. An express reference to the Construction Contracts Act is really a threat of adjudication in many circumstances, but it could also be an invitation to negotiate. So the third warning sign is the use of formal templates. So the Department of Public Expenditure produces templates. In practice, we only see, the, see them used in the run-up to an adjudication. So if you start to notice those templates in use, it might be a sign that an adjudication is imminent. And then if I could move to three things that you might do in response to an apparent threat of an adjudication. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you get your payment response notice out in time. Now you have to get your payment response notice out within 21 days of the payment claim date, but the payment claim date doesn't run from the date of the payment claim. There's a quirk in the act, so it could be up to five days before you've received the claim. So you need to check the contract to find out what's the payment claim date and run your 21 days from that. If you don't do that, you could end up on the receiving end of what's called a smash and grab adjudication, where the subcontractor or contractor comes at you for the entire amount on the basis that you simply haven't responded within the statutory timeframe. The second thing that you need to do is to ensure that your payment response notice complies with the Act, and in particular, that it sets out the reasons why you haven't certified the entire amount claimed. And then the third thing that you might do in the run-up to an adjudication is start to marshal your records. So what we see all the time is that clients have thousands of emails saved into a folder, all relating to various different matters across the project. Uh, and the difficulty with that is organizing and marshalling them so as to be of use to your case in the very short time that you're going to have to compile your response, seven or 10 days. So starting to organize and marshal your information is really important. So there are three things that you might do in the run-up to an adjudication. And of course, you can always pick up the phone to one of us at Mason, Hayes and Kern. We're very happy to chat these issues through.